2012 Comic Con in New York City with the image for the College Magazine. We're going to be checking out all the hottest video games and comic books. I'm going to show you some of the ones that I personally like the most and hopefully we'll learn something from it. Come on. Organic weapons are a global threat. Start working with the rest of the world about the Raccoon City, the Raccoon City incident. City incident. my desire to reveal I'm truth. going to tell them everything. I've always valued your friendship, Leon. Resident Evil 6. I'm here with Michael from CopCon, and he's going to talk to us and tell us a little more about the new game Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. So today we've got RE6, or Resident Evil 6 as we like to call it, uh, behind us. This game actually shipped, it's in stores now, uh, as of October 2nd for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Uh, this is definitely the biggest Resident Evil experience we've had to date. Um, not just one story, not one campaign, we got four different campaigns, so tons of content, lots of hours to play through it. Um, but not only just one story, but uh, a couple of different gameplay styles too, so a little bit of something for everybody. Um, we've got Leon S. Kennedy, he's back. He's one of the older characters from the early franchise. He's more of the dark and scary, kind of like horror movie style horror. Um, it's like really gory. Right, so it's got a lot of, it's got zombies, it's got zombies crawling after you, like chasing you through cars and stuff. Um, Chris Redfield is back from RE5. He's also one of the older legacy characters from the franchise. He's kind of more like a, it's like a blockbuster action movie. So they got like Michael Bay, like explosions, stuff like that. And how are um, the graphics and everything? Oh, they're amazing. It's great. We've never, it's never had a bigger Resident Evil game. We've really had, we have tons of people working in this title and we're really happy. So. Where can we pick up the game. So you can pick up the game any uh, re uh, game retail retailer store, Amazon, GameStop, Best Buy, uh, or we have our Capcom store, store.capcom.com. Have always been angels. There have always been demons. And they've always been at war. I'm here with Carl Reed from Capcom, and he's going to tell us more about DMC, The Devil May Cry. So, DMC Devil May Cry, this is the fifth iteration of the franchise, um, and this is a reimagination of the franchise. So, we're taking a completely new direction with the story, but at the same time, we're still keeping true to all of the key pillars um, the fans know and love from the previous games. Okay. And what are those key stories? Absolutely. So, we're still very much about fluid and dynamic combat, as you'll see from the screens behind you. We're still very much about aerial combat, we're still <clears throat> very much based around style ranking so depending on how well you perform in each phase of combat you get a rank um, and the story itself tells uh, tells the story of Dante who's the protagonist um, in the game um, he is half angel and half demon um, and uh, the world as we know it is controlled by demons um, and Dante along with a vigilante group called the order um, are here to try and take down the demon world so it sounds like hell on earth like absolutely absolutely okay. so Dante keeps getting pulled into Limbo, which is a demon-controlled world. Okay. Um, it's going to be out on January 15th on Xbox 360 and PS3. Okay, and can you pre-order it anywhere? Absolutely. So we have three great pre-orders um, at uh, Amazon, at GameStop, and um, also at Best Buy. Finally have your attention. Rob from Triforce and he's going to be talking to us today a little bit about these amazing sculptures and movie game replicas. Yeah, I mean, uh, actually, we started this business three years ago. Uh, I just was a massive fan. Uh, like I said, I had a business background. Uh, was, went to school to be a lawyer. Uh, and I just, essentially, I was always a passionate gamer, a passionate, uh, you know, collector of uh, pop culture. Now, to make these uh, sculptures that are so detailed and so beautiful, I mean, they look so realistic, that must be really time-consuming. What's the process for something like that? Yeah. I mean, uh, from the concept, I mean, actually, a single piece like this, this is a uh, Batman Arkham City Nightwing, which we're unveiling at New York Comic Con. This, from literally first conversation to concept, is about a two to three month process. Wow. Because we speak, we work closely with the developers, so in this case, it's Rocksteady from London. Uh, we discuss how, how to best, you know, portray these weapons or characters. We agree upon a concept, and then we just kind of iterate, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it starts sculpting, and we do a lot of uh, traditional 3D sculpting and a lot of, you know, more so traditional hand sculpting. So the old arts meets the new arts, so a very progressive type of art style. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. I would agree um, with you that you would have to be passionate about something like this, you know, from going from a law background yeah, to being yeah. an artist. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, that, everybody that's thought it was crazy. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean, it, it was just one of those things. You know, I grew up playing games. Uh, 
I was at some point I think supposed to be a soccer player, right? Became a lawyer, and then it was just like uh, it's just something I always wanted to do. I met my business partner Drew. At, uh, we worked in this industry doing PR and marketing and sales, and I was a avid gamer. I felt like I wasn't getting the collectibles uh, that I was a huge Gears of War fan, and I thought no one's making great Gears of War product. So I kind of took it upon myself to, uh, you know, I had a lot of friends in the industry who were special effects sculptors that worked on films like Predator, Terminator, Rambo, the classics, yeah, Avatar. So just kind of became friends, and they said we always wanted to work together, so we collaborated and uh, just kind of had this vision of uh, this, in my, you know, this belongs to me in a million dollar showroom, a, a man cave, a girl cave, whatever. For students that are based in New York that are interested in becoming an intern, what should they know? Uh, in this particular field, what would you, should you know? Really know your, uh, I mean, know yourself, know your, know your imagination, uh, refine your craft, pop culture. Uh, if you're a 3D sculptor, know Maya, ZBrush, uh, Max, 3D Studio Max. If you're a traditional sculptor, know your tool sets, know your uh, formats. You can use uh, materials, wax, Sculpey, clay. Uh, and like I said, keep your imagination strong, keep watching the films, keep reading the books, uh, you know, and keep loving really cool stuff. So now is there a website we can check out? Yeah, uh, www.projecttriforce.com. Uh, we're constantly looking for interns, 3D modelers, sculptors, traditional artists, uh, anything in the respective field of uh, art and uh, film technology. Uh, we're a New York based company, we're based in Soho, so East Coast, welcome aboard. Please reach out, we're constantly looking for new hires and whatnot. So.